A volcano is an opening in the Earth's crust, through which molten rock, hot gases, and other materials erupt. The molten rock is called magma when it is underground and lava when it reaches the surface. Volcanoes can be found all over the world, but they are most common along the edges of tectonic plates. The Ring of Fire, which is an area of active volcanoes that encircles the Pacific Ocean, is the most volcanically active region on Earth. There are three main types of volcanoes. Shield volcanoes. Conic volcanoes. And caldera volcanoes. Shield volcanoes are broad, gently sloping volcanoes that are formed by the eruption of large amounts of lava. They are the most common type of volcano on Earth. Examples of shield volcanoes include Mauna Loa in Hawaii and Olympus Mons on Mars. Conic volcanoes are tall, steep sided volcanoes that are formed by the eruption of a mixture of lava and ash. They are less common than shield volcanoes, but they are more explosive. Examples of conic volcanoes include Mount Fuji in Japan and Mount Vesuvius in Italy. Caldera volcanoes are formed when the top of a volcano collapses after a large eruption. The collapsed area is called a caldera. Examples of caldera volcanoes include Yellowstone National Park in the United States and Crater Lake in Oregon. Volcanic activity can be divided into three phases. Preparation phase. Eruption phase. And post-eruption phase. Preparation phase begins when magma rises from the Earth's mantle to the crust. As the magma rises, it cools and becomes more viscous. Eruption phase occurs when the magma reaches the surface and erupts. The eruption can be explosive or effusive. Explosive eruptions produce large amounts of ash and gas, while effusive eruptions produce lava flows. Post-eruption phase occurs after the eruption has stopped. The volcano may continue to emit gases and ash for some time. Volcanoes can pose several hazards to people and property. Eruptions can produce large amounts of ash, gas, and lava. Ash can fall for miles around the volcano and can cause respiratory problems. Gas can be poisonous and can suffocate people. Lava flows can destroy property and infrastructure. Tsunamis are large waves that are caused by volcanic eruptions or earthquakes. They can travel thousands of miles and can cause widespread damage. Volcanic activity can also have several positive impacts. Volcanic eruptions can create new land, such as islands or peninsulas. Volcanic ash is rich in nutrients, which can help to fertilize the soil and make it more productive. The heat from volcanoes can be used to generate geothermal energy, which is a clean and renewable source of energy. Volcanoes are a natural hazard, but they can also be beautiful and fascinating. It is important to understand the risks associated with volcanoes and to take precautions to protect yourself and your property.